Amy is the kind of person that loves rules. And there is at least one unwritten rule that I don't want to break. I don't ever sell my personal exclusive fountain pens that I keep for the company museum, period. But I think I'm gonna break that rule. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Aaron from Pendanger. Welcome to another Fountain Pen Collection update. This is the sort of a video format in which I'm updating you and sharing my collecting habits with you all on the Pendanger YouTube channel. And uh, of course, we didn't have one of these videos in quite some time, at least with fountain pens, getting in the collection, getting out of the collection. And I said, today I'm gonna make time and I'm gonna update everyone on this uh, sort of a summary edition, uh, some major moves in my personal fountain pen collection. And um, like I told you in the intro, I am going to not sell. We're not gonna use that uh, term. I'm gonna pass the ownership of one of my fountain pens to a very special person. And I'm gonna tell you why I do this. I'm gonna explain a little bit behind the context of such a move. Till then, there is a lot of things that I need to update you on. We're gonna start with something fun. Although this sort of a move is not like I just simply sold a pen, I sold one of my nibs and it was one of my Cobra nibs, which is a stacked nib by Jeremiah Winfield, which is a wonderful, skillful pen maker. Um, he does wonders in regards of stacking nibs, materials, pens, and everything. And I owned one of his steel Cobra nibs that I installed in one of my Leonardo fountain pens. I even went as far as adjusting one of the ebonite feeders that I have heat setting to that nib and it was a wonderful writer. And uh, we got a guest in the shop, a wonderful person all the way from Singapore. And uh, I think you've seen this um, event, if we can call it like this, mentioned on the Penventure Instagram account. And if you're not subscribed on our YouTube channel, scroll down, hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up on this video. And also scrolling down, you'll find the links for our Instagram account there. Uh, we post daily fountain pens, everything that's going on at Penventure. And we got a visitor. And uh, this wonderful person traveled all the way from Singapore to visit Romania, our country, our culture, our people. And we spent almost a day in our store. And she was falling in love with this Cobra nib. And I said, what a better way to capture this emotion than to pass this nib to her. And I think this is why I found myself really, really in love with the whole community, our fountain pen community, because I knew that moment, I'm gonna put a smile on her face, and she wanted that nib on a Leonardo Momento Zero Grande Nuda, a Penventure exclusive, and I said, what better way to actually make this person happy and also know that the first person that walked through and visited us, at least from abroad, from Singapore, it's going home with a special memory tied up in that special uh, nib, that special pan, and it was wonderful. I, I, I dare you, if you are visiting Romania, drop by, say hi, and uh, let's talk, because we have a lot of things to talk about in regards of writing instruments, and not only that, I'm excited to show you Romania. What you see here is a physical picture we took in the store, and uh, I think I'm gonna start a trend with this kind of pictures and I'm gonna get my hands on such a camera and I'm gonna do this for all of you that are visiting us and this kind of a picture will be hanging out in one of those uh, Hall of Fame visitors that dropped by and said hi to us. What I ended up putting on that specific pen that had the Cobra nib is a Leonardo experimental Bach uh, nib. And uh, this is something that I just found by mistake in one of my drawers. And it's a 14 karat gold Bach double broad nib. 
and uh, it's it's one of those nibs that I didn't knew I had. Um, I, I had some nibs left in a drawer and I just simply forgot about them for the past two or even three years. And when I was in need of that draw and I cleared it out, I found this uh, hiding in, uh, in a corner and I said, hmm, let's put this nib to work. So I wanna update the list down below. Usually with this kind of a video format, you will have a list of my entire collection of writing instruments and we're gonna update the, the nib for the Furore Blue Hawaii that I had in my personal fountain pen collection. We're gonna put a 14 karat gold double broad in the, the place of the Cobra nib. Anyway, uh, from the pan show, the Dutch pan show, just like I told you, I came home with two new pads that I just welcomed in my personal fountain pen collection. And it's my first Gravitas fountain pass. I have here a Ultimate Vac in clear and an Ultimate Vac in this beautiful amber resin. And it's, it's amazing. I've been using these two fountain pens that are inked up the yellow one, it's inked up with Pilot Hiroshizuku Yuyaki. And this one, I believe I have in it Diamond Oxford Blue. And it is impeccable, amazing. These two new fountain pens are uh, my workhorse pens and I am going to put them to good use and I'm gonna carry them with me in the pocket and already I am seeing that they are super, super great workhorse candidates for daily use in regards to fountain pens. They don't leak, they don't uh, produce too much mess. They are wonderful writers. Uh, you can clearly see the ink inside slushing around in the barrel and this is so mesmerizing and they draw so much attention and this clear glass-like resin shows the intricate beauty of the whole mechanism and we have reinforced parts right here. Ben from uh, Gravitas, Ben Walsh used titanium. Where are the weak points of a fountain pen? It's, it's nice to see how much thought went into creating this writing instrument and how easy it is to wash because you can take apart the section, you can remove the nib if you want so, uh, you can remove the nib unit, the section all together and it's wonderful, very tacky, it has a little bit of weight behind because it's having those parts which are made in titanium and I just love this pen. And just to give you a spoiler, we are working with Ben Walsh from Gravitas to soon welcome some of his fountain pens in our lineup on our Penventure website. So soon enough, you will have access towards these two writing instruments, which are beautiful, both in steel and gold nibs. On these two fountain pens, I went with the steel nib. And this is what Ben had uh, at his table at the Dutch Pen Show. And I said, Ben, please give me something that I want to have in my personal fountain pen collection. And he handed over these two fountain pens and I'm more than happy to say that I'm the proud owner of two of his Ultimate VAC fountain pens. Let's update the list down below and let's put these two new Gravitas fountain pens on that list. Shall we proceed with uh, the, the fountain pen from my personal stash of pens that I am going to pass the ownership to a special person? or we want to find out which is the new not fountain pen item that I'm adding to my collection. Let's keep it like this. I'm gonna tell you that the new not fountain pen, it's made out of Arco Silic. So keep that in mind. Anyway, uh, you are just gonna have to wait a little bit and I'm gonna show you what's uh, everything about. It's the cheapest Arco ever. Mm if we can say it like this. I'm gonna tell you the story of the fountain pen that's going to leave my collection. And there is a rule with me. I don't ever, ever sell my exclusive writing instruments that I keep for the company museum. At least one of these writing instruments from every single collection that I've created, I do own. And regardless if uh, you're gonna offer me ton of money, trade value, anything. I'm not going to say yes and just simply agree to sell on such a writing instrument because my dream with Penventure is to own 
a very, very high-end physical location with fountain pens. And I want to have a specific lounge where people are surrounded by writing instruments. And not only that, and I want to have my legacy on a wall. These fountain pens are what I leave behind as a trail. And uh, it's, it's my way of showing how much support you all have been putting into pen venture and for me this is the sort of things that motivate me and keep me on the track to be focused to create to elaborate new designs i want to have a place where i can put my eyes on and i will have a smile on my face saying i'm happy look at how many things i've created with your help and this is why i don't actually go forward and trade this writing instruments regardless of the offer regardless of the things that i could have get back in trade because i do have some pretty pretty rare fountain pens and recently one of the new customers that i have have become more than a single customer it's 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 a friend it's a person that i admire it's a person that i look forward at seeing in person at one moment it's a person that deserves to simply be part of the Penventure family. And one of the, the, the saddest things regarding this is that over the years, uh, the last five years, I designed some very interesting exclusive editions and most of them are sold out. Yeah, it's, it's a sweet feeling to know it's sold out, but I do have new customers, new friendships that simply uh, this person comes to me and say, Emmy, you did an outstanding job. I would have wished to have such an item in my collection. And most of the times with my exclusive pants is like sold out. And how should I say this? Well, I've judged. And the single fact that I own two of these creations made me to say, yes, I do want one of these fountain pants to actually exist in this person's collection. And I want him to have a smile on his face and to own a rare piece of Panventure history. The pen that's all about, it's my Visconti Homo Sapiens exclusive Panventure. And this beauty is what many say, the Dracula pen. And just to be honest, there are some similarities because black with red in this kind of color scheme is just simply screaming Dracula. This pen is our one year anniversary edition with Visconti. And uh, this is one of those pens that I would have wished to just simply take from the past and bring into the future because today it's so popular and some of this pop up on the secondary market here and there and I've seen them and it's amazing to see one of your fountain pens being traded off five years no 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 five years four years down the road and it's 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 impressive watching this pen I'm super proud of the outcome and the single fact that when I was able to secure this collaboration Visconti told me from next year there wouldn't be any single exclusive edition based on an iconic creation of Visconti. And by iconic, I think they were referring to the Homo sapiens and the Opera Master uh, resin, semi-transparent resin. And we have lava material from the Homo sapiens, lava section. And I believe it's a first mix of the lava with the demonstrator material. And as a nib, we have an 18 karat gold nib made by Bach for Visconti. This is prior to them manufacturing in-house their nibs. When they finished the 23 karat palladium dream touch nibs, they discontinued those nibs. And for, I believe, six or eight months, the only nib available on the Visconti was the 18 karat gold nib, but this is made by Bach for Visconti. The person that's going to welcome this new pen in his collection is a great lover of broad nibs. So what we have here is a 1.3 millimeter stub nib. The single fact that this fountain pen, serial number 00 of 25, and its sibling, the one in bronze trim, 00 out of 25, this is my pair of fountain pens. Since the fact that I have two of them left, the silver trim, since it has this gorgeous, gorgeous 1.3 millimeter stub, is going to reside with the new owner. I cannot wait to see this person using this 
pen. I would have wished to be a fly on the wall when he is going to receive it and he is going to see it in person and when he's going to ink it up and use it because this is a rare, rare pen. The story behind it and how I came up with the whole thing and the single fact that's the last exclusive edition from Visconti based on an iconic model, all of the characteristics for a grail pen. I'm going to put this away and it's going to be shipped with a bunch of writing instruments that he, the new owner of this pen, purchased from Penventure and uh, he is going to be having a big, big surprise. This is the story of that pen. I'm left with the bronze version 00, 00 out of 25. This has a more uh, of uh, a extra fine point, which is on my taste. And I just love this extra fine point. I cannot wait to put some ink in this pen and use it soon. Let me show you what's not a writing instrument. Well, actually it's not a fountain pen. It's a writing instrument and it's made out of uh, arco. Recently, I stumbled upon a little something from Omas. It's a ballpoint. You're gonna hate me. Well, I hope you're not. It's still a writing instrument. This beautiful Paragon ballpoint has all, all of the characteristics of a great, great everyday carry writing instrument. I write a lot of those warranty cards and those warranty cards for fountain pens are made from this glossy paper and simply I cannot write with a fountain pen. So most of the times I use a ballpoint for that specific moment when I need to sign a warranty card. And just the sheer fact that this is made out of Arco, I mean, I'm Emmy, I'm a pen collector. Wherever I go, to the lawyer's office, if I go to the, the city council, if I'm signing a contract, if I'm investing some of my uh, funds, if I have to go and to have a talk at the bank with the accountant, I'm gonna use a pen and everyone is just simply looking for what Emmy brought this time, what pen do you have, what pen do you carry? And most of the times I was carrying a fountain pen, but in official documents, you can not actually sign with a fountain pen. It has to have blue or black ink. It has to be permanent. And most of the fountain pens that I own are high-end luxury writing instruments. And I am not too happy to put something as a permanent ink inside. So this is why I wanted to have such a flashy ballpoint pen. And nothing takes this than the Paragon in Arco Bronze Celluloid. I've been eyeing one of this for quite some time because I want to have a match for my Paragon fountain pen. And uh, it's a shame that I don't have it in silver, but I said it's a chance that I don't want to pass. So right now I picked the gold. Uh, this was acquired from Letizia Jacopini. So this person is wonderful. I dare you if you're looking for something vintage in regards to fountain pens, um, primarily Italian fountain pens, but not only that, give her website a try. Uh, she is wonderful with Italian fountain pens. She can outsource some of the most crazy pants that you may want to welcome in your collection. In the case of this Paragon Arco, I got this also from her, from her website, Tan Pen. Let me know if you use anything else besides fountain pens at work, at grocery shopping, wherever you go, you only use fountain pens or you also have ball points, roller balls, regardless what writing instruments are you using. I think that's it. Uh, I look forward to having your feedback. If you enjoy my content, let me know your opinions, what you think about this uh, collection habits that I have lately. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you've been uh, shopping lately, what's new in your fountain pen collection. Thank you very, very much for following up with the Penventure content. Let me know if I can help you out in any shape or form. Scroll down, you'll find the list of my entire fountain pen collection and also the links for the Penventure website, uh, YouTube channel, Instagram account, email, phone number, anything and everything that you may need in order to get in contact with 
me. If you want to help us with the growth of PMG YouTube channel, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm and everything else. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. It's easy. Just click there, turn on the notification bell on, and you will be notified whenever we have new content. Speaking about content, if you want to continue watching my videos, I'm going to leave you this right here. You can click and enjoy. As always, I'm your host, Aaron from Panventure. I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.